You're at Daytona Beach at Hanksters, and today we're underneath the hood of a 1970 Plymouth Cuda, one of everyone's favorite cars. This particular car started life as a 383 car, but now houses a 69 440 six pack engine. Has power steering, correct carburetors, correct air cleaner for that year, 26 inch high flow radiator in it, new alternator, all new hoses, all new wiring, an absolute gorgeous engine compartment, just as it was when it left the factory in 1970. With this engine in the car, it's just such a blast to drive. I mean, absolutely a blast. And it's not going to be as expensive as a real V-code car either. You'll love this car. Okay, we're in the front of our 1970 Plymouth Cuda. Yellow car. The paint on this car is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's not a mar in it. There's not a... It looks as though it's a yellow, wet paint job. That's how nicely everything is on this car. The seams run clean up to the windshield around the collar area, straight as an arrow. It's about an eighth of an inch the whole way around. As you can see, this one uh, progresses up across there the same as the other side does. It's a 446 pack in this car. It's just a fantastic car. The argent uh, finish around the uh, grill area is just the way it was for 1970. It has the fog lamps that were optional for 1970. The bumper fitment is very, very nice on the car. The chrome on the bumper itself is absolutely stunning. Front volance, the uh, uh, Argent uh, filler on it is, is just as nice as the grill area. It matches perfectly. And there's no pulls or dents or anything under the uh, front volance on this car either. Fantastic fit, finish. Got the iconic double scoop uh, hood for the Plymouth uh, Cuda. Great color car and a fantastic condition car. Fantastic. Okay, now the driver's side of our CUDA. Marker lights fit absolutely gorgeous. Front bumper fitment is nice. Wheel lip molding, no dents, no dings. Rally wheels. Everyone loves rally wheels on these vehicles. They, they come occasionally with uh, uh, some aftermarket wheels on them, and it seems like anyone that does buy them prefers the rally wheels over anything that's available on the market today. Fantastic combination, and an original for the car also. Trim around the uh, windshield, really nice. I don't see any marks or dings. Tinted windshield in the front, appears to be a new one. There's no wiper marks or, 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 or scuffs or anything on the window. The fitment of the uh, door to the front fender, my God, you can't ask for anything any better than that. It's absolutely fantastic. Chrome sport mirrors, both sides, driver and passenger. Drift rail molding. I feel something there, but I can't see it. That's a little tiny, tiny bit of a ding there. I can just feel it with my fingernail. Uh, wipes on the doors, very, very nice. No issues with them. Chrome on the door handle. Nice. Wow, the fiddle on this body is amazing. It's really, really amazing. Roof, no marks, no uh, deviation on it, uh, no dents of any type. Still haven't found a stone ship on this car either. Rear wipes the same as the uh, front. Rubber all fresh uh, for your seal on the top of the uh, windows. Door to the quarter panel, the same as it is for the front fender. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. No marks on that fender lip molding either. White leather tires add a lot of pop to this vehicle also. And of course, you know, everybody loves the, uh, the hockey stick stripe on these cars. Really a lot, of, a lot of look to them. Trim around the back window, which is also tinted. Same as the front, just absolutely beautiful. Side marker light in the back, same as the front. This car is amazingly straight. I mean, just amazingly straight. Usually these doors are so big on a CUDA, you know, that they'll show some little tiny bit of a deviation. This car has none. When you're looking down the side of this, it's just laser straight down the side. It couldn't be any nicer fit and finish on this car. I mean, there is no overhang at all, none. It's beautiful. Let's see if there's something in the back. 
Okay, we're on the back end of our 1970 CUDA. This paint is just totally amazing. And again, look at the deck lid on this. You can see this in the video, I'm sure. The fitment. I mean, it's, it's so precise for an e-body car to have panels that fit like this. Just totally, totally amazing. Uh, the back end, this is supposed to be flat black. It's painted gloss black, as is the uh, uh, spoiler. But again, that's a person's preference. It actually adds a lot of look to this vehicle. It gives it a little bit more depth. A little tiny bit of pitting around the chrome on the uh, tail light basils here. The tail lights themselves are nice and shiny and clear. Uh, the chrome, a little tiny bit, a couple little tiny pits, that's it. You're not going to see it in the video. You're going to have to really look to see it, but it is there. Bumper fitment in the back. Just like the front, it's absolutely gorgeous. Bumperettes go down and made up to the... Uh, Rear Valance that has the correct exhaust tips exiting them, by the way. Even the paint on this is underneath here is just, it's, it's better than most cars have on the hood. This car is absolutely fantastic across the back. All the uh, trim around the uh, rear section is really straight and nice. No dents or dings or marks whatsoever. Cuda designation on the back. This car is literally flawless so far. I haven't had a mark or a dent or a chip or absolutely nothing. Fantastic fitment so far. Let's see what's on the passenger side. Okay, passenger side of our 446 pack 1970 CUDA. Quarter panel side marker light. Uh, I gotta find something on this car. There gotta be a stone chip or a marker, something. Nothing on the back window. The roof on this side is the same as the other. Fender lip molding, nothing. Open. The fitment of this car is just astronomical. It's just absolutely beautiful. For an e-body car to line up like this one does, it's just unheard of. There's always some little deviation somewhere in the door, the front fender, quarter panel, this has none. The wipes on the doors line up flawlessly. The stainless is mating up to the paint just perfectly the way it should. Of course, our passenger side mirror. Drip, absolutely nothing on it. Absolutely nothing. Paint on the door, same as it is on everywhere else on this car. It's just absolutely beautiful. Trim around the front windshield on this side is the same as the other side. Nothing. Absolutely no marks at all. <laughs> Again, the door onto the front fender. Gonna have to get a micrometer depth gauge out to figure out if there's any deviation on it because I can't see any. I can't even feel any. Correct antenna for the year, correct low car antenna. Fender lip molding. Nothing. Side marker light up front. We're back where we started again. Bumper fitting in the front, just the same as it is on the other side. Uh, I can't find a single thing on this car. 1970 Cuda. Very, very iconic car. One of the most desirable cars that you could ever, ever hope to find. Uh, and one of the best color combinations. Yellow with a black interior in it. A 446 pack transplant in this car that makes it think that it is a real 446 pack. Started life as a 383 car, but it sure doesn't run like one now. Rally wheels on it. it it's got the best of everything. The fit, the finish on an e-body car like this is just unheard of. They always have some little deviation. This car has none. We haven't found a stone chip. We haven't found a mark. We haven't found a ding, a scuff. Absolutely nothing. This car is just one of the nicest cars that we've gone over for a long time where we couldn't find anything on it. I mean, absolutely nothing. And it's available here at Daytona Hangsters for you to buy and have a lot of fun with this summer. Okay, this, this thing is as nice a car as you'll, you'll ever find. Uh, speedometer, obviously, we're sitting, so it's not functioning now, but we will show you it uh, functioning shortly here. Tachometer works fine. All the gauges work. Oil pressure is nice and high. Fuel pressure, or fuel pressure. Fuel tank almost full, which is an unusual occurrence in this place. Um, temperature coming up. Alternator working. Even the clock works in this vehicle. Nice steering wheel, nice dash, all the wood grain on the dash and the console as nice as can be. Let's go for a ride and see how this thing works.
car goes straight as can be, no hands on the wheel, stop. Oh, they're almost looking the other lane. A little bit of a turn there. Stops well. Obviously accelerates well. Really nice running car. Speedometer does function, all the gauges are working as they should. Cars are running nice and cool, temperature's up a little bit, but it's probably 160, 170 degrees. Turn signal right, working. Turn signal left, working. Everything in the car works. Horn works. want a trophy with it. It deserves it. Hi, you're at Hankshire's in Daytona Beach and we're underneath our 1970 440 six-pack CUDA style car. Um, everything under this thing is completely new. There's nothing that hasn't been addressed. If you can see, everything is yellow. The, the entire car was a total rotisserie restoration, so every piece of this car has been addressed body-wise on a rotisserie. New brake hardware in the front, new shocks in the front, new steering box, uh, new pitman arm, new bushings for the sway bar. Motor's been out, everything's all freshly painted and clean. You can see there's no leaks on the engine. Brand new starter. No leaks on the bell housing whatsoever. No leaks on the tranny. 727 uh, Chrysler heavy duty transmission in it. Subframes. A couple eh, marks from being jacked up through the years on this side. Nothing really on that side. It was jacked up on this side. A couple of very light marks. Uh, two and an eighth inch uh, brand new exhaust on it. Pipes heading toward the rear, new, new universal joints, no leaks in the rear of the transmission. Brake lines are original equipment style. They appear to be stainless steel though. Um, toward the rear, from front to rear, everything is brand new on it. Functional parking brake, the original one still on the car and it does function. Um, original equipment style fuel line from front to back. The floor pans are painted and you can see there are absolutely no marks, no dings, uh, no rust issues whatsoever on this vehicle anywhere. Pinch welds on the uh, rocker panels to the floor pans are still very evident. You can you can see them. All the plugs have been replaced in the floor, all your rubber plugs. This car is as fresh underneath as it was when it was new without the splatter sound deadener that Chrysler did put on them from the factory. So this car is original tin, painted yellow like the rest of the car. Two and eighth inch pipes transitioning into two Flowmaster mufflers, which we'll show you here in a second. There's absolutely nothing to, to report that's negative on the front of this vehicle. Absolutely nothing. Let's see what's on the second one. Okay, you can see from this vantage point a little better how well the undercarriage of this car has been addressed. Like I said, it was a, it was a total rotisserie restoration, so you can see the entire vehicle's been uh, cleaned and painted. Uh, the color of the car yellow. Again, here's our uh, Flowmaster mufflers, two and an eight pipes going in. Here to be two and an eight going out also. Uh, it might be two inch going out. New universal in the back. Drums in the front, drums in the back the way they uh, uh, they came. Real nice arch to our rear springs. Nice stack on the springs and a real nice arch to them. It appears to be a replacement gas tank. I can't really tell, but it, it, it's there's no marks or dings or dents. It's, it looks as though either someone cleaned it and, and used some steel wool on it or replaced it, one of the two. New shocks in the rear, spring hangers, torque boxes, everything is just as fresh and nice as can be. 
The trunk pans are, they appear to be all original. The drop downs and the fenders, the back part of the uh, uh, trunk area is all absolutely flawless, painted yellow as the rest of the vehicle is. A little bit of a jack mark on this side, tiny, tiny one on this side on the uh, subframes. Torque boxes don't have any marks at all on them either side. This car is as new underneath as you're ever going to find a 1970 uh, Plymouth style Cuda. Uh, it, it's just a car that was a complete rotisserie restoration. It appears to be a total rust free body before they started the restoration. The car now houses a 446 pack engine in it with an automatic transmission. Eight and three quarter heavy duty rear end in it. You're getting the best of the best in the finest condition that you could possibly buy one of these in a total rotisserie car. This car is as nice and a clean a Cuda as you'll ever, ever find. I'll just give you an idea how nice it is. Before it came down here a few days ago out of Kevin's private collection, Kevin's father had this at a car show where it did win a trophy, a first place trophy, for the 446 pack Cuda that it is. The car is just incredibly nice, great running car. Let's fire it up and see what it sounds like.